Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. In today's video, I am so excited to showcase some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly fall Halloween decor crafts. I'm also hosting a giveaway for a box of roses you guys don't want to miss out on. And thank you guys to everybody that has been joining me on my Facebook Lives. Make sure you're over there on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page and also make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel so you guys can enter my rose giveaway. So without further ado, do let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafty for our first DIY, we're going to be adding some pumpkins to my front entryway. I stopped by this cute little farmer's market today and I couldn't resist grabbing several pumpkins and some corn stalks. They were such a great little bargain and the little lady at the farmer's market was so sweet and cute. I really wanted to support her small business. So I'm going to go ahead and take two of these corn stalks, which I'm allergic to corn stalks and hay, so I have gloves on. I'm going to put them on either side of my tree and then add my little Walmart scarecrow him and her to the front part of the tree I'm then going to just take some um, rope and wrap that around their necks I do have to wrap it around the neck part and around the base part um, because of the amount of wind that we get up here on our hill then I'm going to take and arrange my little pumpkins and these cute little gourds were super inexpensive I'm going to take this little bucket also from Hobby Lobby a little soccer ball from Dollar Tree and these fake mums from Amazon yep that's that's me i'm fake mom cheating this year you guys i've just had it with the, how many moms i kill i know you guys are probably tired of hearing me go on and on about it but i just couldn't bring myself to to buy real moms and have them die here at my house so we'll let somebody else tend to the moms anyway i thought they looked super cute and no fuss no muss so hopefully they don't fly out of there i'm just thinking about that i probably need to secure them down in there to that soccer ball i'm just going to add a couple little pumpkins in and around um, my little display here i feel like it looks really cute so on the front part of that bucket it said pumpkins 50 cents and i got all nervous and i thought what if people think I'm selling these pumpkins for 50 cents. So I turned that around backwards. I added in this cute little Dollar Tree sign that says fall in love. I love that. This is Olivia's romantic home. So you guys know that I am a romantic at heart and I just love all things love and sweet movies about love. So that's going to be the secret question for this video to enter to get your chance to win the Forever Rose Roses is drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite romantic movie is. My daughter and I really love to watch romantic movies in the fall. We love Gilmore Girls and Little Women and all of just the sweet cozy movies. So maybe even just, it doesn't have to be a romantic movie, just maybe what's your favorite fall movie. We don't like horror stuff though. So anything that's super like scary or um, that kind of stuff we're just really not that into. Um, so here is how it turned out and I'm going to show you guys a different way too that I put this display up. So across the street um, they were giving away these benches so I grabbed a bench and so originally I thought that I wanted to put the pumpkins up on top of a bench. So you guys are going to have to let me know if you like it with the benches or out. I ended up leaving it without the bench. I just felt like it looked like I was like having a farmer's market stand. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. For this next DIY, one of you all asked me to create a mailbox floral, so I am not going to disappoint you. We're going to do it. From Hobby Lobby, I grabbed this little evergreen. It actually hooks to the mailbox, and mine was a little bit large for it, so I used a zip tie to secure it underneath. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree sign to hang, and I actually had two of these, and I hung them on either side of my little mailbox. Then I had this burlap left over from last year. I actually was going to toss it because I'd already done my fall garland, and it just wasn't working with what I was doing this year, and then I was like, like nope no fall decor left behind or tossed even if it's in terrible shape so I just went ahead and took the evergreen branches and crossed them over on itself just to give this um, garland a little bit of fullness so this is my challenge right now is to use every bit of fall decor that I have in all of my totes um, and I'm getting close to the bottom of my tote so you guys are going to see lots of fall right before my fall home tour that I'm going to be doing for you guys next week so stay tuned for that so again I'm just adding 
putting in more burlap. So this was an orange and a brown and a cream colored burlap. I think I got rolls of these at either Hobby Lobby or Walmart last year. And sometimes Dollar Tree even carries the burlap as well. These were pre-made little bows that I had already made. And again, they were in terrible, sad shape, but I'm just giving them a fluffing and sticking them on here. Um, I ended up going back in and zip tying them on because we really do get so much wind. In fact, this is a new mailbox because with the last storm that um, I got some storm damage to my roof and in and around the side part of my house and it blew my mailbox away completely off my mail, um, the mailbox stand and then somewhere, I don't know, into the mailbox abyss. I looked all over across the street down the road. I never found it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm zip tying everything down to here and hopefully it'll stay on here nice and secure. All these pretty little bows. If you guys need help making bows, you can go on to my YouTube channel. I have a a bow video where I make tons of bows, all different styles. And I like to add in lots of pattern and color. I just realized that I'm going to call these my Punky Brewster bows. Do you guys remember Punky Brewster from back in the 90s? My daughter used to kind of dress like her. She'd combine every pattern under the sun. I feel like I've kind of done that with these bows. So I just used some Dollar Tree signs and some pretty ribbon, made some bows, added in some fall foliage, and then braided the rest of that burlap down the front of <laughs> my little mailbox and then added one of the big gourds that I had gotten at the farmer's market today. And boom, we have a fun little mailbox floral hoping you guys can see this and it inspires you guys i put a little dollar tree pumpkin at the top i did wire that down to the top as well so fun and fabulous on a budget For this next DIY, we are going to be decorating a fall Christmas tree. So I'm taking this little Christmas tree. It's left over from Walmart from a couple years ago, and I'm gonna make it into a fall tree. I'm just adding in this Hobby Lobby garland, this pretty little Dollar Tree sign, and I'm securing everything on here with zip ties or just crossing the little evergreen branches over on themselves. Now we're gonna take some Dollar Tree ribbon and make two little loops here with your ribbon, and then you're gonna take a zip tie and tie that off. Such a simple, easy bow and I'm just going to take the evergreen branch and cross it over on itself and then fluffy duffy my ribbon then I'm going to make a shoelace bow and a shoelace bow is a bow that you would make like you're tying your shoelaces and I'm going to put that into the center of my little Dollar Tree ribbon and this ribbon I had found at the thrift store but it was originally from Kirkland's and it is a smaller ribbon and probably about a two inch ribbon and then I'm just going to take my little tails and um, twirl curly curl them around and now I'm going to make another little ribbon where again I'm going to make a shoelace bow I think by the end of this day I'd start to get a little bit uh, tired and so my shoelace bows came out the next thing I wanted to do is add some deco mesh to this Christmas tree because I felt like it was just feeling a little bit empty. Here's a fun little hack. You can take your deco mesh and you can make little curls. So you just curl the ribbon like I'm doing into itself and bam, that makes a little curly cue. So I just cut up one roll of the Dollar Tree deco mesh. Then we have a thankful and blessed pumpkin in there. We have some Dollar Tree ribbon and just some fall foliage. And really, you guys, I did not buy anything for any of these crafts today except for those pumpkins at the farmer's market to support our little local farmer girl. Um, the next thing I want to do is make some pumpkin picks. So I'm taking some wire and these little pumpkin um, just mini signs from Dollar Tree and I hot glued that wire on and I just took a, a plate that I cut up and put that over the back of the little pumpkin and that kind of holds it on there. Another hack is you can poke little um, shish kebab sticks into the bottom of your pumpkins, secure them with some hot glue, and then stick them directly into your fall Christmas tree or garland or wreath. Now I'm taking some more Dollar Tree ribbon, making a little loopy bow. I'm going to tie that off in the center to give it a tail. Super easy, you guys. These bows are so easy, but they really do make quite an impact. And these are some really terrible angles, so I apologize in advance. Christmas trees are just really tricky to do where you guys can really see well what I'm doing because of the height of them. Anyway, now I'm going to take some little sunflowers and then Benji Bear was having 
a really hard time today. He has anxiety a little bit as a puppy dog when he hears a loud sound that sounds like a firework. Well, there weren't fireworks today, but they it, there was a truck across the street working to remove a bunch of stuff, and he was so scared. So he just needed Mama to sit down and hold him and make him a little bed. And so he's right below me while I'm crafting. And apologies for my workstation being so crazy, you guys. <laughs> It's the end of this fall season and I've got to make it hay before the sun doesn't shine or something like that. <laughs> so here is how it turned out. I added in some of those little cute, grateful, thankful, blessed um, little smaller Dollar Tree signs. And these are like all the little Dollar Tree goodies that I have bought. They th I thought they were so cute. And then I'm like, what am I going to do with that? They're just sitting there in my craft bucket. So as always, comment. Let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. Which one will you be recreating? And I have a fun live that I want to do for you guys this week. So make sure you're following me on Facebook and also look forward to my home tour next week. And it's going to be time for Christmas stuff as well. I love y'all. So here is Benji Bear after my long day of crafting and we're just getting ready to take a quick little walk. He loves going on walks with mom. You can see he's waiting for me to put on my tennis shoes. He is so cute and he's feeling so much better after his little um, panic moment that he had earlier. And then he has, he wants to, he's feeling very playful. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know that he's feeling better. In fact, you can probably hear him running around kind of in the background and he's gonna get his monkey to share with you guys and I've been sharing with you guys um, little Benji Bear goodnight um, sweet dream videos on my Instagram and my Facebook stories. So he's going to find his little uh, monkey. This is what he sleeps with. Um, he's really kind of spoiled, you guys, honestly. Um, but he's my best little crafting buddy. And so he just wanted to share with you guys his little monkey. So say hi to Benji Bear, all you kitty cat and puppy dog fans out there. And we love y'all. joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. For everybody that has just joined me and new, welcome. I'm Olivia's Olivia's Romantic Home. I have been on social media for 10 years, YouTube for six now, and I love to craft and decorate on a budget. I usually love shopping at the Dollar Tree, the Goodwill, or uh, my local Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or Target. So I love picking up things that are budget friendly, and I hope you guys are enjoying my show, and I hope you guys subscribe. I am hoping Hosting a Rose Forever giveaway. Thank you, Rose Forever, for um, spoiling one of my viewers with a big box of roses. And you guys can choose any of the roses, and they last for several years. They're actual real roses that are preserved. It's so super cool. I'm such a romantic at heart, so I love having fresh roses around, but I'm always so sad when they die. And these last for years. So it feels like you have a, like a really pretty nice fresh bouquet. And I'll leave a link to the Rose Forever um, in the description box in case you guys want to check that out. But listen, I love to craft and decorate on a budget. I feel like crafting for me is good for my mental health. Um, it's just good for my spirit. I've been crafting ever since I was a little girl. So if you guys need a little lift, even if you just do something simple, tie a little bow or get something out and paint it, I promise you, you're gonna feel really amazing and give yourself grace. Sometimes I see these big, beautiful, awesome, projects and I'm like oh I really hope I can make that and it doesn't come out quite like I was hoping so wherever you're at in your crafting and decorating journey just give yourself grace have fun with it it doesn't have to be perfect uh keep going so I love y'all I cannot wait to share with you guys my home tour I'm also doing lives on Facebook just to hopefully connect with you guys and get to know everybody a little bit more I love that interaction um so you know, and this is the season for crafting and decorating. So anyway, so thank you guys for all of the kind comments and the encouragement. I've done two Facebook Lives so far this last week. We created a swag. We also created a lantern bow topper and I was shaking. I know you guys probably couldn't tell, but it's kind of like having stage fright. Um, so everybody that commented and gave me some encouragement, thank you guys so much. It is me, you guys, and my little iPhone that's up on a tripod and I actually broke one of my beauty lights. So I only have one. It's a, you might notice it's kind of a little bit 
bit dark in this video. Um, so I've got to order another one, but you know, and I'm a busy mom. I do all of this in between, you know, being a full-time mama and all of that kind of fun stuff. So anyway, thank you guys again for being here. I'm going to hug all of your hearts so tight. I can't wait for our next crafting and decorating videos. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Ooh.